Okay. I think the setup will work to a point. Oh, maybe. There it is. Woo! Okay. Um, for a warning, this is my third attempt at live streaming today. Or not today, but in general. I guess I should clarify what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I don't live stream at all. Sorry, shaky cam. I don't live stream um, for, for, most, for the most part. And um, usually I make my art in private without anyone knowing. Or, well, not without anyone knowing, without anyone viewing at the moment. So right now this garbage, we're going to try to do something with it. Um, my process, I tend to put down watercolor and then um, with that process I sketch out a few things and I exaggerate other things and we're just gonna see where this goes you know I don't think don't know where we're going with it and that's the funnest part sometimes it can be the most anxious part because it's like you see some good some good uh, formations and you want to you know, do them justice but so, sometimes you can't so I'm gonna be putting in my headphones and listening to something. You guys definitely tune in your music because I feel like quiet, quietness is, it can be deafening. And I don't know, I like tunes while I work. Um, I would play them, but we all know YouTube's copyright stuff. If you want to join me in the music I'm listening to, I am listening to currently Sleep Party People the mind still travels. Pretty great stuff. That has so much dust on the screen. <laughs> Anyways, so since this is also one of my somewhat first videos, I think I'm gonna kind of do a little introduction, um, and we'll see where where things go from there. My name's Rick. I hope I'm not too close to the mic. Um, my name's Rick, and I have been drawing for. Well, like a year, two years. Uh, I I could use the the classic line I've been drawing all my life, but everyone says that, don't they? I feel like every artist says that, and it's like, well, when do you mark your seriousness of your art? Because yeah, everyone can do, everyone can sketch some things for a long, you know, for long periods of time, like. A kid can draw scribbles for like 13 years and still not be considered an artist to some. I guess it's because art is subjective. But I, I consider a person an artist when they're as simply as putting forth effort to be seen, you know. Like there's hobbyists, people who just do this for fun, and then there's those who are striving to try to make a career or an establishment or a statement, you know, I feel like that's that's an artist, but that's all subjective. That's my word is not law. That is for goddamn sure. I'm not one of the smartest people out there. Fuck, I'm not one of the smartest people out there. Uh, I told myself to write down some subjects before we start, but uh, I forgot to do that. So. Um, other than the intro, um, let's see, I, I choose to draw in this style, at least for, like, videos. Here, I'm gonna actually lower us down a bit. There's gonna be no editing in this. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Just as I said lowering, for some reason the whole thing decided to topple over. I am so sorry. Dear God, what the hell? Uh, I might just not touch it. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to touch this now. God, that's embarrassing. I wish I could edit that out. Some of you might be saying, well, Rick, just get on your computer, edit it. This is for my phone. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. And, uh, I don't have a computer. <laughs> Fun fact of the day, I don't own 
a computer because I am fucking poor, but I have other priorities. And fucking this year, as of this year, I have finally not had a major car issue. All my money of last year was going to a car, and then some of it this year to a tattoo, which is so stupid. Like, some people think you need a computer to survive out there, but my phone does everything a computer can do. And then my my family and my girlfriend, they all have computers that I absolutely need it, that they let me borrow it. But I, I'm usually pretty good without one, in all honesty. Our little pocket computers do a whole lot that we don't, we didn't, we don't, you know, think of, unless you're a gamer. I have a lot of friends who play video games on computers, and I am honestly, most of the time, envious because I want to play all the, all the fun stuff on a computer, on a PC. It's a lot free, a lot more ring than a console, but then consoles are a lot easier because you don't have to, like, uh, you know, maintenance and stuff. Some people they absolutely don't mind the idea of maintaining computers. Some people, I don't know, I, the thing about computers, I feel like if you're, it, like, you gotta know a thing or two about computers in order to own a computer, because you get malware or some sort of problems, you can't just sit there and be like, ah, oh, I need to have someone repair this, go pay for it to get repaired, because if you do, you're gonna spend so much money, which is why I've been working on my car. Like, my myself, I have not been giving it to anyone to work on. I have physically gone through and gutted and with with help of course. I'm not, not a master mechanic, but you know, me and my buddy, he and I and we worked on that shit. And I feel like you should always know your shit that you're working with. It's when the industry gets you, man, is when you don't know what you're doing, you gotta hire someone else to do it. It's when you lose money, man. Look at me, fucking preaching like I know shit. I don't know shit. I'm just talking. Just talking. I, I, I don't do podcasts, as we can all tell. Uh, we got sidetracked. Sidetracked it, though. What were we talking about? Artists. Oh, yeah, I remember uh, we were talking at one point about artists and careers and whatnot. Um, I love accidental art. I'm absolutely in love with it. I don't know what it, what makes me love it so much, but I think it's that little aha moment. It's like feeling like you just made a breakthrough and you're just like, whoa, like that is just so cool. And I did that, question mark, you know? Like, I, I can't believe I did that. And then you just continue with it and you blow that out of the water and next thing you know, you got this amazing art piece that just makes itself it almost grows like you just start a seed and the seed takes over and it just just becomes this beautiful thing that's what that's what i love a lot i love that so much a lot of the pieces that i fall in love with uh are the ones that i just didn't even intend to make in the way that they came out Which brings me to an interesting thought. Tell me what you guys think about this, but <clears throat> I was hanging out with a fellow artist. He's teaching me some stuff about depth and uh, perspective and the horizon line and stuff that, you know, I should be studying in my spare time, but you know, I tend to goof off too much and do too much doodling. Um, he was teaching me all that. And something he told me as I was like trying to be gentle and precise with my stuff and trying to save my art he noticed I had a lot of artwork just in my sketchbook, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what provoked him to say this. I don't know if it's because he was examining what I was doing or how he examined how I was taking care of what I was making and I wasn't being as reckless as he was with his pencil, but uh, he said, you can recreate anything you've already made, so don't be worried about throwing it away. For me, that was awesome and kind of a depressing thought you know and I guess it didn't really work with my method of art making because my idea was that every stroke that I made on accident, accidental art 
can't be replicated twice, you know. Like if I took if I took this pen and I just like, threw it across, which I could. This sometimes drips ink. In fact, I need to look at that. Um, if I just took this pen and threw it across the page, like let it splat every. Oh God, there's so much ink. This. I don't know if you can see that. Will it just? There's so much ink coming out of this, I'm glad I found that. If I just took this pen and splatted it across the page, I cannot remake those same exact splats. It's almost like like snowflakes. I know, uh, that's such a quote. Like, you're a special little snowflake. Da, da, da. I hear that in my head a lot, and I've heard it in my life a lot. But, you know, to a degree, it's true. And uh, when I heard this article say, like, oh, scientists have figured out a way how to how to recreate snowflakes, I was like, oh, that's depressing now that whole little saying goes away. Maybe I'm not that special. But when I looked into it, they could only recreate snowflakes in a controlled environment. So I was like, ah, take that, scientist. Because the reason why each and every snowflake is marvelous, marvelous, the the reason why each and every snowflake is completely amazing and different and beautiful as you are um, is because they were all made in different conditions. And we all go through life in very many crazy, random, strange conditions. And so, in that same sense, when I hear you can just throw it all away, it also seems kind of, kind of sad, you know? You don't want to throw the simplest of scratches away, you know. I, and I remember just last week, I went to an art gallery event uh, where we could showcase, local artists could showcase their art. There's this lady there who had made this piece that I just fell in love with. And she said it wasn't finished, but she brought it anyway, which was really courageous because a lot of artists would not bring, you know, they wouldn't think twice to bring a piece that was not complete, but she was willing to give it a shot. And um, it was just these scribbles. It's just like these scribbled faces, and they they, they looked sh looked like multiple lips on one face or a nose, and and uh, it was just nuts. And I just stepped back. And I was like, "Whoa, that is just beautiful." And I walked up to her. I was like, "This this is freaking awesome. You know, I, I love it." She's like, "Oh, really?" She's like, "It's not finished." I was like, "Well, I don't think you need to finish it." It's just marvelous. It, it, you know, I don't think you should touch it. Because the way it went, it was like these big faces, like, here. And then, like, they started going in tiny scribble, tiny scribble, tiny scribble. And they almost, like, decayed away. And I just found that just beautiful. Like, it, it said so much without doing a lot. Um, it was the simplicity of it. So, um... I don't know, that's something there that I felt like if she threw away, it would be a waste of art. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess the reason why I'm explaining that and, uh, and whatnot is because uh, it gives you an idea of what kind of artist I am and why I make what I make. 13 minutes in and no one's joined us, but that's okay. I'm still having fun, you yeah. know? sitting here listening to my music. I think it's a lot easier for me to be listening to music while doing this, because I remember the last time I did this, I took down the video as I as I exited the live stream, but um, I was doing one, I did one for about mm, 30, 40 minutes. It was actually this thing, I was just putting down the water, and um, no one, not a single person came, which was depressing. So I think either way I'm going to upload this this one um, and and maybe someone will do it maybe they'll tune in next time um, maybe someone will but we'll, we'll see where it goes that dropping part part though <laughs> I'm, I'll probably lose like 80% of people there uh, I myself I don't know how other people are but myself I am so picky that like if the sound quality isn't good if the lighting isn't good I'm so picky 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 uh I don't like to waste my time with it, which is, which isn't, isn't fair to a lot of people. I'm realizing right now as I'm making my own crappy content. You know, I do, I do though. I give, I give a fair amount of time to people. I don't know. 
also believe that like, your eyes and your eyeballs and your ears and stuff they're being heated for you know every YouTube video every everything is trying to get your attention and uh, it's important to value that attention because we only have so much of it in this simple little place simple little earth uh, can you hear my cat in the background she's she's bothering me to feed her I'm in the middle of a stream. Why would you do this now? This would be a lot easier if I played video games. As some people do constantly. And I do live with other people. Uh, other people being my family. And so if you hear any people in the background, I'm sorry doors closing or opening usually I would if I was if it was any if it was my ideal time would be nighttime to make this because uh, everyone's asleep but the walls are so paper thin that like you can hear everything last thing my my landlord slash family want to hear is like me talking to myself throughout the night while they sleep plus I have work you know gotta, gotta pay the bills I pay rent what do you think I'm some sort of freeloader because I'm living with my fam no I pay rent just kidding I don't know where that came from okay we got something interesting so far we got all these interesting shapes I really like where it, what's going on now it's just the decision of what do we emphasize and where do we go. I think we're going to start here. I made another one of these recently. Posted on my Instagram. Oh, that's something else. If you guys want to see more of my stuff, check out my Instagram. It's Burn My Balloon. The one, the only Burn My Balloon great I don't know how I came up with that name honestly I think I think Tumblr gave it as a suggestion once upon a time like I never I don't think I took the name I can't remember if I did I was looking through like usernames and like they were given to me like at random and uh, like try this one or try this one one of them I remember was burn my balloon like it was just such a such a simple, easy, catchy name. I was like, that's pretty awesome. And I, I remembered that. I just continued to use that. Um, I don't know, because also think about it. Like it's it's a very catchy name because you got something that everyone loves, which is one, a balloon, and then you're burning it. <laughs> it's cruel. It's uh it's unheard of. You know? So it's it's really really uh, contradicting in its own its own way um, unless you see balloons at something sad because then then uh, it won't be doing that exactly let's listen to this song I'm listening to some more sleep party people uh, the song's called poor Leon I really like this band this band's really just a whole lot of fun there. It's really good stuff. Guess I gotta keep the conversation going, huh? We're coming up on 20 minutes. Ooh, do we keep going or do we not? I, I think we're. this or I might go live stream on Twitch for a second I do have a Twitch also burn my balloon if you hang out there uh, let me know you know let me know it's this is my attempt to try to grab some sort of audience out there on the on the tube world you know because there's there's just so so many people out there it's a lot of work to try to get noticed Um, oh, 
what do you talk about in moments like this? Um, let, let's talk about something I, I figured out as of recently. I, I think the meaning will change always, but right now, what my art is trying to convey it sounds like a, it's going to sound ridiculous, but that is uh, consciousness. Nothing in, in, in my current world, as I see it, is all that interesting, you know? Shapes and patterns, those, those are the interesting things to me, and to make something out of those is what's interesting. It's like smoke, you know? And also mm -hmm. consciousness. Um, whenever I paint or draw like this, I try to express what my consciousness is going through. I remember one of my favorite pieces, it's actually hanging up somewhere right now in a coffee shop or something. Its name is Ludwig. And the reason why I just absolutely love that one is because I made it at a time when I was anxious for someone. Like I was worried about them. Very much worried about them. And something about that piece just kind of came together in its own awesome way. Now you guys can't see this on the camera, I don't think, but there's a gradual gray that comes all the way over and I'm turning that gray into white. No, try, trying something, you know? Trying something. But yeah, I want to like convey consciousness. And consciousness is such a strange and vague and weird thing, you know? That it's like its own organism, but it's still part of you. It's its, its own thing, but it's not its own thing, you know? It's kind of weird. It's like a reactive chemical, which ironically, that's all that goes on in our brains. It's a chemical. Um, but you know, I was thinking about it and I thought, what animal in the animal kingdom spends its time expressing itself into why and what extent? You know? Because everything in nature is meant to survive and not expend energy that is unneeded. But yeah, I remembered some guinea pigs I used to own, or my girlfriend used to own. I basically live with her because I spend every waking moment with her. But we had these guinea pigs, and when they got happy, they would jump, but like flare. Like it's like a wiggle. And by doing so, it expressed that they were happy. But when you think about this, this in nature is unusual because that would be expending energy that would be used for running away from pre uh, predators or um, or uh, for digesting or just, you know, just a, a manner of things. But yet here they were just using their energy just to hop around, enjoy. How weird, how weird is that? Like human beings who make art, art is pointless in a, in a survival sense, you know? Uh, this can't help you very much unless you like built camouflage and you were a very intelligent camouflaging animal human thing <laughs> but um you know like it's it's just almost pointless but it feels so so meaningful you know it, it's just such a such an odd thing um i think we're gonna call it here uh, thank you for joining the semi podcast sorry about the random falling of the camera we may continue this piece. We may 